Get over to meteorologist Jennifer Correa with a look at our forecast here at home. Jennifer. Hi, Carly, and I'll be talking about Tropical Storm Arthur in a minute, but for us, we have had a stormy pattern. In fact, Saturday and Sunday, we've had severe thunderstorm warnings, so we're expecting some strong to severe storms later on today. I know we did have a few storms earlier this morning. Live view out of Key West, uh, you can see some overcast skies out there and pretty much mostly cloudy across much of South Florida. That has actually kept the temperature from warming up too quickly, so we're still in the low to mid 80s across Florida, but the flow is out of the south and southwest. Now notice there are a few thunderstorms popping up, but it's not too active just yet on real time Doppler. Uh, a small shower near Weston. It's uh, right over I-75 and US 27. It's dissipating. There's another thunderstorm on the over the Everglades right over the county line between Broward and Dade. That's uh, maybe starting to develop and strengthen a bit more. But uh, the forecast model is showing that it looks like like by two o'clock, we're going to have more thunderstorms on the radar, some which could be strong to severe. So between two o'clock, 4 p.m., I think that'll be the worst of the weather, but it won't be over just yet because even through the evening by 8 p.m., there'll probably be another round of some showers and maybe some thunderstorms as well. So some of these will be heavy for a few areas, so can't rule out some street flooding out there later on for the uh, afternoon commute. Now, it's not just us with the stormy weather. It is across the West Coast and Central Florida as well. Notice the rain offshore over the Gulf of Mexico and on the water vapor imagery, plenty of moisture bubbling up around that, kind of like a ball. Well, that that is actually a short wave or a disturbance, a small low pressure system in the mid levels. That's what's triggering. That is a force mechanism in our atmosphere that's helping to trigger the thunderstorms later on this afternoon because we really don't have a lot of sunshine that's going to provide for that daytime heating. So we need something unstable uh, to provide for those thunderstorms. And that's what's going to happen. I want to show you a wider view of the East Coast. Notice Tropical Storm Arthur spinning off of North Carolina's coast. Now the rain shifting northward into parts of the Delmarva. But the good news is that the rain is improving or almost coming to an end for parts of North Carolina. However, it's still gusty, no doubt about that. Tropical storm force winds expected through tonight. Uh, and then by tomorrow, it's actually going to be farther away from the coast and hopefully downgrading as a remnant low. That's by tomorrow morning, which is some good news. Highs today could manage to get to 90 degrees, but maybe only in a few spots and might see a little bit more sunshine. And you know what? We're expecting the storms each and every day this week. Carly? Jennifer, thank you.